Hello, welcome back to Tea Lisa's channel. We are a tea shop and tea bar located in Niagara Lake. So here at Tea Lisa, we have over a hundred different kinds of organic loose leaf tea. But today, we're going to introduce to you our four top favorite ones, and we'll recreate it in an iced tea blend. So the first one we have here is peach melba, and then we have pina colada, Hawaiian paradise, and Moroccan green tea mint. Alright, so we'll get on with the video tutorial. Alright, so for the first iced tea blend we'll be recreating is the peach melba. So what's inside the peach melba is peach, hibiscus, apple, elderberries, and sunflower petals. First steps in recreating the peach melba, we're going to put a tablespoon of the peach melba loose leaf tea. So I'm going to scoop that out. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. And at Tea Leaves, we use organic sugar cane. And we're gonna add 250 milliliters of hot water. And the reason why we want to add more portions of the ingredients is because when you add ice to the ice tea blend it dilutes the flavor so that's why we want to add a little bit more tea and sugar. So after the tea has steeped for five to six minutes we're going to stir the tea around so we can get that bold color that we're looking for and to mix the ingredients in. And we're just gonna need half a cup of ice here. And if you don't have a shaker like we do here, you can always um, let this, the tea cool to room temperature, put it in a fridge to cool it down, and then serve with ice afterwards. But it's much quicker and faster to use a shaker. You can find that anywhere. So I'm gonna pour the tea in here. And we're going to shake the tea until everything mixes and it becomes foamy. So after shaking our drink here, the reason we want to do that is to create a nice foam up top. So it creates a nice aesthetic for the drink. So I'm going to take the top off here and pour the liquid inside. And then after, I'm going to take the second part of the, the shaker off and I'm going to pour the foam and the ice in. Alright, so now we're going to taste test the peach melba. Oh, so sweet. So it has a nice peachy cream flavor. So the second iced tea blend that we're going to create is the pina colada. So it has black tea, pineapple, coconut, and vanilla. And it's a perfect cocktail tea drink to create for younger kids or if you just want a refreshing taste of something that's similar to pina colada. Right. For the first step in creating the pina colada tea, we're going to add a tablespoon of the loose leaf tea into our Japanese teapots. And then a tablespoon of sugar. and 250 milliliters of hot water. Right. So we'll let that steep for five to six minutes. And if you don't have a Japanese teapot like we do at TV's, we do have a teapot here for iced tea blends. It comes with a filter inside here so the leaves don't get into your tea and it's perfect for serving iced teas with and you can find that on our online shop that we'll link below in the description so after our tea has steeped for five to six minutes 
We're going to pour it into our shaker here with a cup of ice, just like last time. shake that until we get that foamy consistency that we want. We're mixing our tea. We're going to take the top off the shaker so you can pour the liquid in. And we're going to take the other half off. I'm going to pour it nicely in so we can get that foam right up on top. And now we're going to taste test the pina colada. You can really taste the coconut, the pineapple, and it creates like a creamy uh, taste with that. Really good and refreshing. Okay, for our third tea, we're going to create the Hawaiian Paradise. So inside our Hawaiian Paradise loose leaf tea, we have pineapple, apricot, peach, papaya, cranberry, hibiscus with mango, passion fruit, and peach flavors. For the first step to create the Hawaiian Paradise, we're gonna add a tablespoon of the loose leaf tea. This one's a bit tricky to get because it has um, chunkier ingredients in here because of the pineapple and mango. Just gonna make sure to grab those. Okay. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. And 250 milliliters of hot water. Our tea has steeped for five to six minutes. We're just gonna stir it for a little bit just to mix all the flavors and ingredients in there. All right, and we filled our mixing cup with a cup of ice. And now I'm just gonna pour the tea into here. We're going to mix that in together. After mixing our tea together, we're going to pour it into our cup here. Just with the top part off. Okay, I'm going to take the second half off so we can get that nice foam up on top. So make sure to put Carefully. Alright. And now we're going to taste test. So this one's really fruity and really tropical. It's a nice mix of all the fruits that are in the tea. For our final tea blend, uh, we are going to create the Moroccan mint green tea. So it is traditionally served in Morocco with a blend of Chinese gunpowder green tea and spearmint leaves. But here at Tea Leaves, we pre-mix all the ingredients for you to make it a lot easier. Okay, for the first step, we're going to add a tablespoon of the Moroccan mint green tea leaves. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of sugar cane. There we go. And 250 milliliters of hot water. So after our tea has steeped for 5 to 6 minutes, we're going to put it, move it over into our mixer here. Right, I'm gonna add 
the toppers on. And we're gonna shake that again until we get that foamy consistency we need from our ice cream. After shaking that, we're gonna pour it into our tall cup here. Just gonna remove the top and pour the liquid in. And I'm gonna add that ice and the foam on top. Okay. And now we're gonna do our taste test. Ooh, this is nice. So this one is really refreshing and minty, which is perfect for the summertime. So that concludes our iced tea blends tutorials. You can always add garnishes on top of the iced teas, like the Moroccan mint green tea here. You can add mints on top, or the peach malba, you could add peaches on top as well. Um, we'll link below the organic loose leaf tea, so you can pick that up from our website. Don't forget to subscribe to us, like, and follow us on our social media channels. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. our mixer here and if you don't have a ah! <laughs>